A couple of years ago, a friend of mine, I'd done a commission for him before, a portrait, and then uh, that worked out pretty well. So then he asked me if I would do a picture of Dan Gable. And, and I thought, you know, what a strange and stupid idea. Why would I do a, a Dan Gable? I don't follow sports. It's not my kind of thing. But, it, but the idea stuck with me. So I w started looking at photographs and I saw not just photographs of him, but the uh, kind of yearbook photograph of the wrestler. And then it got me thinking about the, uh, those kind of photographs. They, be, they could be basketball players or more high school type photographs. Cause there's, there's photographs of him in college and in, in high school. And that, that gym or field house is in the background with the clock and the radiator. That is actually a combination of a lot of different photographs, not just of Dan Gable, but different wrestling photographs. So that's kind of how I, I approach other things too. Uh, then a couple years after that, I was working on a stained glass project where we were re-letting and restoring some uh, Gothic style windows that were made around World War I, but looking at those, I, I got an idea of how I could do a fractured figure in kind of that Gothic style. And then the Dan Gable thing came back to me, how I could use the, the architecture of, um, of a high school gymnasium and the windows, and uh, so it's a version of the Gothic window with a wrestler.